Simple as that. An idiot can't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> another video so today we're talking about rice cookers we've had a lot of questions lately about how do we cook everything in a rice cooker and people have been wanting demonstrations show us how you cook oatmeal pasta rice vegetables what else do we do uh, potatoes yeah everything yeah. basically in a rice cooker <laughs> so we're going to show you how we do all that but first we want to demonstrate Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is your sort of, you know, traditional uh, rice cooker. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's got a on-off button. Um, and well, actually, it's not on-off, on is it? It's no. actually cook or warm. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah. you, no one, an idiot can't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is a traditional style rice cooker and it comes with a steamer. Yeah. And... That's the inside of it. Now this one was um, handed down to us and the coating isn't very good. It kind of comes off yeah, when you wash it. I mean, it's, it's initially non-stick, but then as it wears away, it, the contents do begin to stick to the bottom. And that is really, you know, it, it's just a waste. You end up with losing a fair bit of food, don't you? Yeah, and um, also it's not very healthy because whatever that coating is starts to come off on your food. And then yeah. it's, you know, you're consuming it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's rice cooker one. But if it's all you can afford, it's a good option. Rice cooker two is the beast. Now, this is digital. It is. Ooh. A little bit more fancy. Yeah. Um, but same principle. Yeah. Strainer again. Steamer. A steamer, sorry. And that's your pot. It's got a uh, nano ceramic lining, so it's the healthiest sort of lining that you can have. Mm -hmm. And this cost us $50, 50 Australian dollars here in Thailand. Um, the other one that we showed you first is a lot cheaper. But it is a good investment if you can afford the initial outlay. It's, it's well worth it, we recommend it. Yeah. So rice cookers are fantastic for students because if you don't have a proper kitchen set up, you can just put all your food in that and it's done. But if you're short of time, if you're on a budget, a rice cooker is just the easy, cheap way of getting uh, whole plant foods into your diet and not fussing and not needing a whole kitchen worth of appliances. Yeah. So. On to the demonstrations. Let's do it. Okay, how to cook oatmeal in the rice cooker. The ratio is two cups of water for every one cup of oats plus an extra one cup of water at the end. Boil the water first. Once the water is boiled, just add your oats. Pro tip. Never close the lid on cooking oatmeal. Never ever close the lid. They will bubble over and explode everywhere. And just stir occasionally. Once your oats are cooked, just turn off the rice cooker and you can either eat them like this, all hot, or you can remove this from the rice cooker and let them cool down. So we're going to cook some uh, Japanese brown sushi rice today and we recommend you try different varieties of rice just to uh, spice things up and keep things varied. So I've just got my measuring cup that came with the rice cooker. This is 80% of a standard cup, metric cup. And generally with rice, it's about a ratio of one to one but I like the we like the rice moist so we put a little bit more than one to one. So I did four cups of rice, so we're going to do more than four cups of water. I'm going to steam some broccoli in here, and that's going to take some extra water. So about five cups.
going to cook lentils in with the rice. So we've soaked these lentils overnight and you just put them in with the rice. We did two and three quarter of these cups of rice three quarters of one of these cups of lentils and I put about four and a quarter cups of water because brown rice takes a bit longer and these lentils are quite tough even though they've been soaked overnight and we're also going to steam some eggplant on top which are going to require some water. Cooking pasta in a rice cooker. Simply boil your water and put your pasta in. That's it, pasta boiled. As for our sauce tonight, we're cooking it in our second rice cooker. So that's handy because we've got two, but if you don't have a second rice cooker, you can just stir through some diced up tomatoes and add some herbs to your pasta, or you can prepare your sauce in your one rice cooker before you cook your pasta, up to you. Cooking potatoes in the rice cooker, easy. Peel, chop them up, cover them with water, and that's it. Close the lid, let them boil up. And that's how you boil potatoes in a rice cooker. So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If you can think of any interesting ways to, you know, use a rice cooker, put them in the comments down below. We'd love to hear. Yeah, any Share any recipes. Ideas. Yeah, recipe ideas that you might have. And if you know of anyone who says, I want to go vegan, but you know, it's too difficult or I can't afford it, um, show them this video. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember until next time, going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. And it is very cheap and easy with a rice cooker. Sure is. <laughs> See you next video. Bye guys. So we're going to show you that veganism is not only good for your health, the animals and the planet, but it's also good for your pocket. You're actually going to save money by eating vegan. And this is the final meal. Absolutely delicious, simple and hearty.